Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on Dodge Magnum Dodge Charger, guys. We're doing engine replacement here. You can see quite a bit of a mess. Don't judge us. Look, look at the shop, what it looks like. And it's freaking cold. Yeah, I mean, it's about 5 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, let us show you now, guys. We'll show you how to remove and replace uh, coolant reservoir on Dodge Magnum Charger. Uh, we'll show you how to do that now. First, we need to drain the coolant system, guys. So stay with us. We're gonna go ahead and do that now and come back to removing the reservoir. So, guys, what we decided to do, we took the fan off so we can show you better because otherwise it's hard to see. You don't have to remove the fan or anything like that. Just you need to place something on the bottom of the car, like a container to catch the coolant. Don't just drain it like that. You have to catch it because that thing is a poison. And we took the fan off so we can show you where the, uh, where the drain plug is, right there. Otherwise it's almost impossible to show it. And now, now we will need to uh, get it loose, okay? Let me get on this side so we can demonstrate how to do that. Okay, you can see it's down there and we're gonna turn it, okay, counterclockwise, get it loose. And it's going to pop out but it will still stay there. So, let's see how much it needs now, okay. Okay, like that. You can see we turn it quite a bit. So we open it, now we need to remove the cap there for the radiator, because otherwise it will create vacuum and it won't come out. Oh okay, guys, and you can see it's draining now. It's gonna take some time. But it's gonna drain. If it's stuck, we'll actually show you how to uh, how to actually uh, get that thing unstuck. Because it's possible that uh, it got uh, some okay, some dirt and stuff probably uh, in the plug because it's not going fast enough. So we'll show you what to do now. So we're going to use a compressor. Okay, with a blow tube. And we are going to blow in the holes. And we fixed our problem. You can see how fast it's draining now. It was uh, just something stuck there in the system. But everything is good now. So it's gonna take about probably 10-15 minutes to drain the whole system. Just give it some time until it's done empty. And uh, after that, all we have to do, you need to get the valve tight. You can reach it from the bottom, no problem guys. But we just wanted to show it to you good so you know where it is. That's why we took the fan off again. You don't have to do that. We have a video how to bleed the system right. Because if you don't, you're going to overheat the car. So check out the channel video will be posted soon. We're going to remove the airbox guys so we can gain more room, it's super easy. Uh, first we need to remove that hose there, the clamp, get it loose. Unlock this one there, pull the wire out. Okay, the airbox has only one bolt. So go ahead, remove that one. And we need to pull the breather hose there, the vent hose. Okay, pull that hose from the throttle body. And now the airbox should come right out of there. You can see the whole assembly and how much room we just gained. You can do it without removing it, but just for one, for one bolt, I think it's worth the, the time. Okay, and now we need to remove that hose right here with a, just pliers, you need to pull it out. Careful, don't wiggle it too much because that's breakable there. You need to just uh, push it a little bit with a screwdriver. Okay, like that, because if you wiggle it, they tend to break right here. If it breaks, you might overheat the engine because of a little hose like that. 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter socket for two bolts now. Let's go ahead and remove those. And now we have one hose. Okay, it's gonna come up with a power steering reservoir. So what do we need to do? We need to uh, uh, get those detach somehow okay we need to figure it out first how to guys so we can show you so you can see that one here you need to pry this way okay like that 
and then you should be able to lift up the power steering reservoir out of there okay and you did just detach both of those and the only thing left that we have that's why you need to have system is empty because otherwise you're gonna spray coolant everywhere we have a video guys how to properly bleed the engine after that you need to watch that video unless you know how to do it because otherwise if you overheat the engine you're done and that's expensive engine right there and a lot of work I tell you even though it's pretty pretty easy if you've done one or two on those probably half a day you pull it out the other half you install it but it takes two people for a, almost a whole day job and we need to get that hose now off you can see and the reservoir is right here now guys so when you get the replacement one all we have to do you need to install it you need to install the holes there guys the bottom holes first don't forget to install the clamp on it okay like that now we need to get that clamp with the with the pliers and if one person hold it up it's easier you have more room to mess with it And that's pretty tight fit there, the way they made those. Okay, it went there now. So you just need to install it like that. Next we need to get it here. We need to, we are going to install the bolts and the power steering reservoir will attach it later. It will be easier. Okay, so just the two, two bolts here, that's it, now you need to connect that hose on top, just push it in, don't wiggle it too much, okay, like that, get that clamp as well, okay, that's it. Now we need to go ahead and you just get this one in the grooves, push it down until it clicks like that. And next thing we need to install the air box, which just goes in the hole there. Okay, like that, we need to get the holes there now. Connect the mask airflow sensor on it. And we need to install that 10 millimeter bolt there. You need to get the, the clamp tightened and that will be the whole procedure guys. Make sure that you watch our video how to bleed the system because if you don't you screw the engine up. You have to bleed the coolant right. Thank you for watching and see you next time.